morning, everyone, and welcome to our final Katya Design Talk of the Year. My name is Honorata Frink. At the beginning of the COVID pandemic, Duffel System decided to offer expertise through the 3D Experience platform and propose innovative projects aiming to improve the daily life of people in these difficult and uncertain times. As an innovation is not happening in a vacuum, the design studio decided to pair up with other design studios. That's why they engaged with Ilium Studio, one of the major French design agencies, after a first remote meeting. As their activity decreased with the lockdown, that was a good starting point for a collaboration on the platform. Together, they came up with the idea of a sustainable, reusable and inclusive face mask. And today, we will learn more about this project. I will discuss with Thomas Drouz, design manager at Ilium Studio, and Sebastian Smetrin, senior design manager at our design studio at Dassault System. Let me introduce my guests. Thomas Drouz from Ilium Studio. Hello, welcome. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being with us. And Sebastian Smetran from Design Studio at Dassault System. Good morning. Good morning, Honorata. Good morning, Thomas. Good morning. Good morning. Thomas, let's talk about the first idea. Would you explain us what's behind this idea of this mask? This project started at the beginning of the pandemic when everybody, us included, discovered what it was uh, to live with this COVID and be, we actually were on a lockdown. So everybody was at home and we discovered what it was to wear a mask, a face mask to protect from the COVID. And so discovering this new item, <laughs> uh, we, um, most of us were using throwable uh, single use face masks and seeing how many face masks were uh, going to be thrown away every day, we, we asked ourselves, was there anything we could do to improve this item in some way? The beginning of the project was really that uh, a discussion between Dasso and Eliam about what could we do to improve the face mask. Uh, and the main entry point into the project was about sustainability the fact that these were single-use face masks. Was there anything we could do? After that, uh, we tried to improve on many other aspects. And the, the entry was also about doing, um, uh, the, the beginning of the project was about doing a collaboration between DESO and us. And we, we were embarked on the 3D experience platform for the yes, first time. So that was mainly when everything came to a shutdown, everything was locked down and you faced some difficulties to meet and discuss anything at all. And so you started to work remotely on the platform and maybe you can um, show us a little brief and talk us through your ideas. What, how did the project start? Sebastian? Yes, uh, in fact, um... It's important just to come back on our choice, in fact, with on, on this uh, face mask, in fact, sustainable face mask and inclusive face mask. Um, it's important to come back on, uh, on, uh, on the numbers uh, of this pandemic um, uh, situation. Uh, in the world, 129 billions of masks are used per month. So it's really huge. So 3 million of masks are used each minute. And we know that one to 10% of them are found in nature. So uh, as uh, Thomas said, it generates uh, a massive pollution. And we know, of course, uh, the impact uh, at the end on the ocean. So we were convinced that, uh, at this time that we could do better. So we decided to think about uh, this alternative to, uh, to the disposable face mask. So how, how did we work? So we, we follow the, 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 fundamental, uh, the fundamentals of the design methodology. So empathic posture to the final user to, to really understand what was the situation, uh, the daily situation of uh, wearing a, a mask. 
uh, the try and fail approach, construction and deconstruction, quick iterative loops, uh, prototype digitally, but also physically, and as fast as possible, um, and also embark uh, simulations uh, solutions in order to, um, to, 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 um, to, to judge and also to validate uh, the main uh, principles of our uh, concepts and, of course, test and retest through these different uh, uh, prototypes of so digitals and physicals in order to, uh, to validate our different, the different concepts and, and maybe also to improve them uh, all along the process. And, um, uh, yes. can, can, you, can you show us uh, a bit more um, what you did exactly? So Yeah. So the, here, here is the, the, the community. So uh, Thomas um, speak, spoke about the different, um, the different uh, way we, we collaborate. So mainly through the Fredrix Pants platform, because as, uh, as he said, we, we did it all the project remotely. So uh, without seeing ourselves, in fact. Um, so that's the community. So globally, you have all the posts, all the, the mm -hmm. thoughts, the shares, the ideas, and with all the functionalities of the, the free expense platform. Um, and then on the, on the first days and the first weeks of the project, we, we did a, a global analysis. A global analysis in order to have a better understanding of what was the market at this time. So in terms of functionality, uh, price, uh, aesthetics globally, the different materials, the different type of views um, in order to better understand also what were the context of views. And what we found on the market globally were simple masks, globally efficient in terms of protection, but not really sustainable and inclusive at all. And of course, you also, you, you, you could find at this, at this time also really complicated masks uh, maybe uh, really heavy uh, to, uh, to to hold and also to uh, to to wear uh, uh, on a daily basis. So we we, we thought um, through the this analysis that uh, critical criteria were also necessary to to set in order to address um, to to address the, the, the correctly the the final product and our uh, design brief. So what was our our brief in fact? Uh, yeah. brief, <clears throat> was quite simple. So as you said, globally, create a face mask that is sustainable, convenient, comfortable, light, adapted also to the various uh, morphologies, and of course, inclusive, really important for us, inclusiveness, to allow lip reading and a better transmission of uh, the emotions. Uh, yeah. and of During... course, I'm sorry. And of course, uh, Oh, still being yeah. uh, during during this exploring phase that we did just before, uh, the idea was really uh, as we do in the design uh, design methodology was to uh, broaden our view of the mask. What is a mask? How is it used? When? Uh, by who? Why? And uh, that's where how we came up with the brief uh, because the entry point was sustainability. But we discovered that the mask is way more than just something that you throw it's something that you wear for long periods of time and that's something that we actually discovered uh, by ourselves because it was the first time in our life that we had to wear a mask for many hours uh, we were discovering what many people uh, actually live in the hospitals since forever um, so it was about comfort it was efficiency a mask is something that needs to filter uh, your the air that you take in and out uh, and also, and as Sebastian said, one of the, the the points that was important for us to put into the brief was, um, for the first time in our lives, we were when we went out, we were facing people with faces half covered, uh, and that was a big big shock because for social interactions, for discussions, for emotions, uh, it was a big change. And we yeah. wanted to know if there was anything we could do to improve on that. Yes, yes. I think that's even uh, the worst thing that all of us suffered from, that we couldn't see people's faces, we couldn't uh, read faces and emotions like we used to do. And um, that is so different. And I think only then it it was clear um, how important this is. So mm -hmm. I, I like the idea of uh, 
inclusive yeah. mask. Yeah. And, and Let's then talk we, about the brief a bit more. So <clears throat> you have <clears throat> you have spoken about the brief. So what what you wanted to achieve? Maybe you can show us some examples here. Yeah, the first ideas. Yeah. Yes. Yes, and then then we we came out with the the first ideas. So through different creative online sessions we we had on the the Friedrichsbund platform. We expressed our initial ideas, even the, the craziest, in fact, uh, the funniest also, uh, and also the, the different concepts uh, emerge all along the, the, the projects that uh, answer to, to our brief, design brief. So maybe, Thomas, you want to, to speak about yeah. this? Uh, so first. as we do always in the design uh, process, we, we go all out and we sketch and try and imagine the craziest ideas. And the idea is really to broaden our view and go crazy. So during these first ideas, uh, the idea was to put on the platform and share with everybody anything that we had an idea of that we've seen online or any challenge that we think about and that we imagine. And uh, the second part of this uh, project at the beginning was also about prototyping stuff because uh, Designing a mask for everybody is very complicated because the amount of different faces, shape that you have in the world between a child, a grown adult, uh, an old person, a younger person is, is very, very large. And so it was important for us to immediately prototype and test our ideas. Um, so we... Yeah, the idea was to, to find to find solutions that would adapt to most faces or uh, that we could transform. Um, we went all out, so we tested some structures, 3D printing, fabrics, uh, even inflatable. We've seen a picture there. <laughs> that, yeah. was, that was crazy. <laughs> inflatable masks that could give you a structure and help uh, with the comfort. Yeah, it was really, it, it was a fun, fun part of the project. Yeah, I believe so. And then you started to think, okay, we've seen it all, and now we are starting the concept phase, so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It, it's totally, in fact, it's not a sequential, uh, sequential process, huh, as you, uh, as you understand. Um, in fact, it's totally iterative, it's quite circular. Uh, we, we, we did a lot of loops, in fact, um, and all along the creative process, we, we we iterated between digital and physical prototyping, and of course, mockups uh, as a result to fit better the, the volume, the weight, uh, the adaptation to different faces, as Thomas explained. Um, and with this 3D modeling uh, phase, we uh, we had also the opportunity to validate globally uh, with the 3D avatar uh, faces. Um, and to, ju to judge also what was the face reference points for a woman, a child, a man. And then we, we proposed the, 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 first, uh, the first concepts, different architecture in a way, in fact, mm -hmm. uh, that, uh, that also emerged. Uh, um, and for, for the first concept, for, for instance, so th this is this one, uh, um, the right, uh, left uh, upper corner. Uh, left upper corner. Um, the, the, the first concept is made of three main elements, in fact, a stiffening uh, structure, a filter, and uh, a piece of fabric to hold um, the, the, the assembly. Because the initial idea was to keep as much material as possible without having to throw away everything, and you just wanted to make uh, exactly you know, use, use uh, yeah. reuse yeah. and reuse uh, some parts of the yes. of the mask. In fact, so the the piece of fabric, of course, uh, is uh, is of course uh, renewable, so made of uh, of cotton, of course. But you can keep it, and you just need to remove the the transparent part to wash it. And keep also the structure, the, the, the inner structure, which is a, a way to, to stiffen, in fact, the, 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 the assembly. And, and the idea was to reuse in uh, as much as possible uh, some parts, uh, and not, of course, the filter, which is, uh, which is uh, of course, um, uh, to, 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 to throw away, in fact. Uh, and, and then the transparent uh, window is needed to, to, be, to be washed. Mm -hmm. 
uh, each as, you, as you can see on this page, it was also about trying to find an architecture for the mask. Because as we said, one of the ideas uh, from the brief, one of the constraints was try to try to bring back a little bit of view of the face for the inclusiveness and the social interactions. And when you bring a window that is transparent, because you need to see through it, uh, you actually remove filtering area from the mask, which is counterproductive. So um, th these different concepts were about trying to find ideas to find the balance between having a window and still be an efficient and filtering mask and safe mask to use. And the first one was about fabric. Then we also uh, had ideas uh, with a structure that would uh, uh, move the filtering material away from the face so that you had more uh, filtering area between what you exhale and the, 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 the fabric filtering. Which was uh, the, the third picture that you've shown. Yeah, exactly. It was having a structure on yeah. which you put the filtering material. Yeah. Structure that you reuse and you wash. Yeah. It's, I think it's so important to mention that at this time we, we studied how to produce this shell and the filter and the window in a sustainable way. And we studied different um, uh, alternatives uh, in terms of materials. And um, the idea to use the hemp was uh, very interesting for us because um, it's efficient in terms of filtration. It's renewable, easy to produce anywhere and uh, entirely compostable. So with these natural materials and efficient in terms of filtration, we, uh, we, we started to explore the different um, hypotheses in terms of materials. And at this time, we wanted to be a bit more relevant and um, we decided to, uh, to, um, to uh, look for another partner. So thanks to the design spot from the University of Paris-Saclay, we uh, we are we have uh, we have been uh, we have been in touch with uh, another uh, company, a French startup called Mondao, based in Bordeaux, and they are in, and they are specialized in compostable hygiene uh, product uh, design. And at this time, Mondao was industrializing uh, a free ply uh, compostable mask uh, and selling also a compostable uh, child uh, diaper. And um, what is also interesting with their, uh, with their approach uh, through the free ply compostable mask, uh, so it's made of uh, mainly of starch, it's PLA, in fact, it's, uh, it's PLA. So it's the main, same material we are using for the 3D printing, um, the PLA. Um, and uh, they are using this, this material to, uh, to produce free ply masks. So it's quite the same shape as a surgical um, face mask. Yeah. but totally uh, compostable, industrially compostable. And thanks to this uh, new partnership, uh, the, the third concept, so this one uh, came out, uh, this, uh, this concept, uh, where through uh, two different variants, uh, we could integrate the, the, the transparent window uh, via uh, two different, uh, different ways. So uh, uh, by eclipsing it, of course, but uh, but also to integrate it directly in the free ply mask um, during the, the, the production phase, which, which was quite hard, in fact, to, to consider. So uh, that was, yes, interesting to, to develop also this, uh, this concept uh, in order to use the, 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 the same uh, mask in, made in PLA from Mondao and to adapt it to make it... Uh, more inclusive, in fact, and not only. And fact, when when you have this mask, when you can you show us the picture again, please? Yes. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, so this mask, and you have this surgical mask, and you have this um, this window in here. Yeah. So yeah. when it's produced, they have to be fixed together. So this is nothing you can clip in, right? Uh, yeah, there, there is two variants. This is the variant with the the the, 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 cl the clip uh, the, the clipping uh, the clipping window. In fact, huh? you can clip uh, on on the structure. In fact, you have the the, the free ply mask. You you put the free ply mask on the, the the structure, and you 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 clips uh, you clip the, the the window on the on the free ply mask through the the structure. In fact, 
Yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah. The, the other variant was this yeah. one, but really, fin, it was more difficult to consider in terms of production. It was a real challenge, but the idea was yeah. that the yeah. material was. Uh, but this one was quite, yeah. quite, yeah, to be considered. But at this time, in terms of production, that was not so easy to to prototype, mm -hmm. to make a pre-production. Uh, Mandao said that was a bit difficult to uh, to launch. Uh, but it could be it could be also uh, an interesting uh, solution yeah. to consider. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And and then what 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 is also important to mention is um, among the different criteria we defined, the, the the inclusiveness of course it's is essential, but it's not so easy to um, to to afford to achieve in fact. Because uh, because of the of this focus on the, on the mass, so we try different shapes, different as you can see there. It's not it's not exhaustive huh, in terms of visuals, but we we try different uh, different shape to make it more uh, acceptable. Because uh, within the team, we were not really uh, um, uh, aligned, uh, considering just the the weird effect of this focus and uh, to be honest on on, on mm. this uh, on this part of the of the mask so we we also through the different um, different way explore some other uh, possibilities uh, different way to model and also we use the uh, free uh, generative design capabilities also to explore in parallel uh, other uh, alternatives uh, to 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 um, to have a um, different uh, different uh, shapes of the window, but also uh, um, about the structure, how to to reconsider the structure to make it really attractive, uh, and even for the the the, the final concept, uh, the, the the final concept uh, made essentially uh, with uh, this uh, global uh, shell. Maybe uh, Thomas we could. Uh, also uh, speak about uh, a bit later. And what is also important to mention, as we said at the beginning, we, we, we iterate a lot between 3D modeling and simulation. Yes. Uh, <laughs> it's a really an important part of this project because even at the first steps of the project, uh, uh, since we have the first 3D model, we we uh, we push in fact <laughs> this uh, this first uh, this first concept and the 3D model through uh, flow simulation thanks to uh, Simulia uh, teams we uh, we validate the the three main criteria so the efficiency uh, of filtration um, and also the breathability the global breathability and also the condensation um, uh, creation. Uh, um, uh, of course, you, you generate uh, when you wear uh, you wear a mask. And for the first concept, the the idea to have um, a, a bigger volume between the mouth and the mask itself was really interesting in terms of efficiency. So it's more breathable, uh, it's more efficient also in terms of filtration. Uh, even there is um, a, a window, a transparent window um, within the mask. And so when when we wrap up this, um, you have tried different concepts, you have prototyped them, you have tried them out, and at the same time you have simulated the airflow and the breathability of the the prototype that you did. Yeah, I think exactly. you have uh, quite some uh, some of the prototypes to show. Uh, yeah. Maybe we can see some of them as well, and you can uh, talk us through that. You mean yes, the, the different. Yeah. Uh, so, yes, so maybe uh, important to just to come yeah. back on the on the final concept and back at the end. Uh, so we, we we came up with this uh, this this final concept. We consider that it's final, but it's still open. In fact, huh? but it's it's more maybe um, um, accurate. It's, it's it's the one who, uh, who, which answers in fact the best to the different criteria of our design brief. And here are the, 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 the final concept and the different uh, variation and uh, variants, in fact, we, we created in terms of color and trim also. So we, we spoke yeah. about the, the choice of material, but there is also the color and the, um, the acceptability uh, of this mask, in, uh, especially with this window. Um, 
uh, pushed us to uh, to consider maybe other alternatives in terms of color and maybe also in terms of pattern uh, uh, on this on this mask on the main shell of the mask there and the yeah. way maybe we can also uh, consider the, the 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 rope in fact and the, the string the, the rope uh, to maintain the the assembly on the on the face so uh, we propose also these different alternatives and you 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 uh, you, you ask what was also the different prototype at this at this time also uh, so for the final concept we, we test and retest through uh, physical prototypes so 3d printed prototype the the global volume of the of the of the shell and the size of the window Thomas, maybe you want to, to, yeah. to the, this is the final concept i mean it's the last stage of, uh, of the, this iteration and uh, uh, it was answering most of the brief most of the constraints that we put in our brief but um, the, the only issue now is that it has a strong identity and uh, many people have different images of having a window like this having a circle in front of your mouth uh, so now the, the question is uh, is it acceptable or not and what do you see in this mask do you see a ga gas mask or i don't know everybody has images um, but yeah. that was answering most of our requirements but having a structure that you can reuse and wash uh, um, a support system that you can also adjust and reuse and wash and having a filtering part that is actually very efficient because you have more filtering area that is comfortable because it is it, ha it has been formed to a basic shape but then it can, can still have a little bit of flexibility to adapt to your face yeah. there was a leap that was helping with the ceiling with the skin but yeah that's that's the last concept yeah. And what material was this last concept of? Because it, it, when I see it, it looks quite stiff, but uh, it has yeah. just it's still PLA. In fact, it's the same material Mondao used for his uh, its uh, free ply mask. It's PLA, but it's thermoformed uh, PLA. Uh, yeah, it's it's right. It's thermoformed PLA. In fact, mm -hmm. and, uh, the, the the window is made of uh, recycled and recyclable uh, transparent uh, plastics. The idea is to to provide maybe three, four, or five uh, uh, pieces of this uh, window in the pack. In fact, uh, then the shell, which is uh, compostable, industrially uh, compostable, and then the rope. The rope you keep it. Uh, all the life of the of the product yeah so we already had a question uh, from uh, our audience about the cost so what was what was the cost of your mask honestly we didn't really um studied in in detail i mean the the, the cost of the mask of course it will be more expensive than a disposable uh, face mask and the, the, the common one i mean uh, we, which is, I think, which cost, I think, just uh, 20, 20, 20 cents uh, of euros. Uh, uh, so, and to produce, it's of course lower. Um, but um, or maybe it's the cost of production. I'm not totally sure. But um, no, we didn't really study the, the the final cost of the mask. But we we consider that as there is uh, renewable. Um, uh, shells. So the, the idea was, of course, to uh, to, to to provide uh, maybe uh, 50, uh, 50 shell or fifty uh, yeah fifty shell, uh, five uh, five transparent window, and maybe one or two uh, ropes or the system of fixation on the face. Mm -hmm. um, maybe this this uh, this this product could uh, could cost at the end. Uh, it's really an estimation. Huh? Um, maybe. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's quite hard. I mean, I think I, uh, I, I don't know if there is a final price, but the idea was that no, you, you had both a solid piece that you can use for years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, that was the structure. That was the window. Yeah. Uh, and a piece that you change every day or when you need. Either in some concepts, the idea was that you wash this piece. In other concepts, it was that it's a biodegradable. Uh, piece that you can throw away 
So the idea was not that uh, to make it uh, that much more expensive on a day-to-day -day basis, mm -hmm. but just that uh, if there was some parts of the mask that we could uh, make uh, just a little bit more solid and that you can wash and keep for a very long time, that's as much material that you're not throwing away and not producing. Yeah. And that was the idea behind yes. it. Yes. Yeah. And even I think at the end, at the end, it will be not uh, the same cost of a, of a disposable face mask, but quite uh, quite close to this cost okay. at the end. So uh, it's, it's well, honestly, I, I don't want to, 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 to say uh, some, uh, some, some wrong uh, <laughs> numbers, but um, I think, yeah, it could be it could be quite the same price at the end on a daily basis. Uh, uh, mm. As, as a disposable face mask, uh, surgical yeah. face mask. But in fact, um, the project is still open. So you have put it on hold because all of us thought we are done with the pandemic. And now we know this is not the case. So um, you will probably go back to work and maybe uh, have some other uh, new iterations and work on it. Yeah. Yeah, we consider that this, uh, this project is in standby and so still open open to work on, in fact. Uh, but we, we put this project in standby because of our other activities in parallel, because it was a side project for all of, all of us, in fact, for Mondao, for Helium, and for the so system also, Design Studio. And uh, yeah, but we, we, are, we are looking for maybe uh, industrial partners or maybe other uh, partners who, who are interested to, to follow this, uh, this project, who, uh, to re, uh, relaunch this project, um, the, the the main uh, the main activity uh, which remains to to work on, in fact, is um, is the the global material research. So I think we can maybe do more on the material research and the the, pro the industrial process. Of course, there there is this question of cost, uh, and there is also the, the question of how to produce it. Uh, in an initial way, and we, we, we validate that was possible. Mondao said that was possible to produce this mask, but of course we need to study a bit more uh, to, to, to make it really uh, industrializable, in fact. But yeah. it's possible, it's possible. We would like to uh, invite our audience first to join our community and sh share your ideas on these masks and, and um, the project, maybe you have something to add, maybe you have ideas, or maybe you can even come up with new materials that haven't been taken into account yet. Mm -hmm. So join the community and enter the discussion with Thomas and Sebastian. And um, yeah, um, I think I, I <clears throat> like to thank you for this great presentation of this project. We will talk about the mask um, in different perspectives in later talks. So stay tuned for more info on how the simulation worked or how the prototyping was done. So we will get a bit deeper into the technical um, side of the project later yeah. in yeah. next year. And yeah, and for, for, for now, um, I think it was great to have you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. It was fun. It was very interesting to get these insights. And I think um, the longer this pandemic takes, uh, the more we will think of ways to improve our lives, even um, with the pandemic and with all the measures yeah. that we have to take to. Yeah, we still, need, we still need this type of products. Yes. So so it's I think we're not to... done yet anytime yeah. soon. Yeah, yes, exactly. absolutely. So, um, Dear audience, uh, thank you for a whole year of exciting Katia design talks. Thank you to, for following us. And we are looking or I'm looking forward to present more Katia design talks to you next year. We will restart uh, in January where we will take another look um, also on the technical side of our Aurora project design for life that was um, also visible in the London Design Museum in October. And right now, I can only say happy holidays, happy new year, stay safe, stay healthy, and I see you next year. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, friends. Bye-bye.